all for the 8th International Day of Yoga with the prayer. As we had already practiced, we are going with the government protocol for the IDY. Okay? Request all of you to sit in Vajrasana. Fold your right leg, then your left leg. Sit on your heels, keeping your heels together, keeping your back straight. Now close your eyes. Close your eyes and observe your breath. Observe your breath. Take a deep inhalation and a slow exhalation. Relax. We will start with the prayer. Hands in Namaskara Mudra. Prayer can be lead and follow. You can repeat after me. Sangha Chatvam Samvadatvam Samvadatvam Samvomanam Sijanatam Deva Bahe Yada Purve Sanjanana Upasade Sanjanana Upasade Slowly rub your palms and place in front of your eyes. Feel the warmth and gently bring the hands down. Okay, now let's get started with the practice. All of you stand up. We will first start with some loosening exercise, also called as Sukshma Vyayama in yoga practice. So, the idea is to do loosening with the breathing. It is unlike other loosening exercise. We are going to focus on the breath and do. So, first we will start with the neck exercise. Keep your feet a little apart. Hands tied at the back. Keep your shoulders relaxed. We will first do up and down. Inhale, raise your head up. Exhale, bring your chin down. Inhale, up, focus on your breath. Exhale, slowly bring your chin down. Inhale, up. Exhale, chin down. Inhale, up. Exhale, chin down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, chin down. Relax. Next sideways stretching. Exhale to the right. Inhale, come up. Exhale, left. Inhale, come up. Right. Left. Right. Left, right, left, right and left. Relax. Next neck rotation, put the chin down and start from the right side. Slowly inhale to the right and then exhale slowly come to the left. Two more rounds, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now opposite direction. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. One last round. Inhale. And exhale. Relax. Next we will do shoulder joints. Take your hands to the shoulder level. Twist your wrist and take your fingers to the shoulders. We will do rotation. Start with front. Inhale. Bring your elbows together. Exhale. Stretch back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. In 
and exhale. Now opposite direction, inhale, exhale. Bring the elbows close together, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One last round, inhale and exhale. Now stretch your hands back and slowly bring it down. Relax. Next, stretching the hands. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Relax. Next waist exercise. Keep your feet a little apart. Hands in the front. We are going to twist the waist starting from the right side. Twist to the right. Twist to the left. Exhale, twist to the right. Exhale to the left. Right, left. Little faster. Right, left. Right, left. Left, right, left, right, left, right and left. Relax. Relax. Next we will do forward backward bending. Keep your feet together. Hands by the side. Remember when you take your hands up, keep your head fixed between your hands and then bend backwards and exhale bend forward. Let's start. Inhale backwards. Exhale forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward, forward. One more time, backward, forward. Now slowly inhale, come up. Relax. Relax. Next. Joints, keep it together, hands in the front. Remember the breathing pattern, exhale as you sit down, inhale as you come up. Let's start, exhale through your mouth, <sighs> sit down, inhale, come up. Exhale through the mouth, <sighs> inhale up. Exhale, <sighs> inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, relax, relax, keep your feet apart, hands loose, close your eyes and relax for a moment, close your eyes, just observe your breath, wait for your breath to slow down naturally, relax. Next we will move on to Surya Namaskar practice. Surya Namaskar is nothing but sun salutation. We will do six rounds of Surya Namaskar. Request all of you to come to the front of your mat. This will be the starting position. Hands in Namaskara Mudra. Surya Namaskar. We will start with the first round of Surya Namaskar. Inhale, raise the hands above the head and bend backwards. Slowly exhale and bend forward. Try to take the hands by the side of the feet. Look at your knees. Three knee. Sorry. Take the right leg back. Put your hands by the side. Take the right leg back. Look up. Now exhale. Take the left leg back. Plank pose. Now inhale and exhale. Sit back. Relax. Step 6, exhale and hold, Ashtanga Namaskar. Step 7, Cobra pose, inhale, arch your spine, knees above the ground. Step 8, raise your hips up, inverted V position, try to place the heels down. Step 9, sit back with normal breathing. Step 10, 
Bring your right leg forward between both your hands. Look up and inhale. Step 11. Bring your left leg forward. Exhale. Inhale and come up. Second round of Surya Namaskar. One. Inhale. Bend backwards. Two. Exhale. Bend forward. Three. Right leg back. Look up. Inhale. Four. Left leg back. Exhale. Plank pose. Five. Sit back. Normal breathing. Six. Ashtanga Namaskar. Exhale and hold. Seven. Inhale, arch your spine. Eight, inverted V. Nine, sit back, relax. Ten, bring your right leg forward. Eleven, left leg forward. Twelve, come back. One, inhale, take your hands up, arch back. Two, exhale, bend forward. Try to take the forehead to the knee. Three, take your right leg back. Four, left leg back, exhale. Five, sit back, normal breath. Six, Ashtanga Namaskar. Exhale and hold your breath. Seven. Inhale. Respond. Eight. Inverted V. Try to place the heels down. Nine. Sit back. Normal breath. Ten. Bring your right leg forward. Inhale. Eleven. Exhale. Twelve. Come back to position. We'll do the fourth round. One, inhale, bend backwards. Two, exhale, bend forward. Three, right leg back. Look up, inhale. Step four. Left leg back, exhale, plank pose. Step five, sit back, relax. Step six, exhale and hold, Ashtanga Namaskar, forehead down. Step seven, inhale, arch your spine. Step eight, inverted V. Step nine, inhale and exhale, relax. Step 10, right leg forward between both the hands. Look up and inhale. Step 11, exhale. Step 12, back to position. One, inhale. Take your hands up, bend backwards. Two, exhale, bend forward. Three, Right leg back, inhale, four, exhale, five, inhale and exhale, six, exhale and hold your breath, seven, inhale, eight, exhale, nine, inhale and exhale, 10, right leg forward, inhale, 11, exhale, 12, back to position. Now the last round of Surya Namaskar. Try to observe your breath as you practice. Inhale, take your hands up, bend backwards, 2, exhale and slowly bend forward, hands by the side. 
three, right leg back, look up and inhale, four, left leg back, exhale, five, sit back, normal breath, six, Ashtanga Namaskar, exhale and hold, seven, inhale, eight, exhale, Nine, sit back with normal breathing. Ten, bring your right leg forward, inhale. Eleven, left leg forward, exhale. Twelve, back to position. Relax it, Shitila Tadasana. Keep your feet apart, hands loose. Close your eyes. Leave your hands loose and close your eyes. Breath. Keep focusing on your natural. want to asana practice so as i said before we have done four sets of asana standing sitting prone and supine so first we will start with the standing asanas come to stiti position stiti is a starting position heels together toes apart hands by the side the first asana we'll be doing is called vrikshasana okay vrikshasana is a tree pose so first we will do right side and then the left side Slowly inhale your right leg and keep it in your left inner thigh, your knees sideways. Now slowly inhale, take the hands up in Namaskara Mudra. Now keep focusing at a point in the front. Keep gazing at a point in the front with normal breath. Stay here with normal breath. Now slowly exhale, bring the hands down and then release your right leg. Now same way, complementary side, the left leg. Slowly take your left leg and keep it in the right inner thigh. And then inhale, take both the hands up in Namaskara Mudra. Keep gazing at a point in the front. Stay here and then slowly bring the hands down and then bring your left leg down. Relax. The next asana that we'll be doing is called Tadasana. This is the tree pose. The come to starting position again. Heels together, toes apart. Slowly inhale. Take both the hands to the shoulder level. Take it up. Interlock your fingers. Twist it up. Now slowly inhale and raise your heels up. Go high on your toes. Once again, keep gazing at a point in the front. Stay here with normal breath. Feel the stretch in the complete back. Now slowly exhale, bring the heels down and gently bring the hands down. Relax. Relax. Next, we will move on to the next asana called Pada Hastasana. In case anybody having severe low back pain, please avoid. Those who have high BP also, please avoid this. We'll practice. Slowly inhale, take your hands to the shoulder level and then take it up with your palms facing forward. Now give a stretch from the lumbar region, the lower back. Now exhale and bend forward, hands parallel to the ground. With further exhalation, bring your hands by the side of the feet. Try to take the forehead to the knees. Stay here with normal breath. Do not hold your breath. Normal breathing. Now slowly inhale. Bring your hands parallel to the ground. Start coming up with further inhalation. Come up. Give a stretch. Then exhale. Bring your hands to the shoulder level. Further exhalation. Bring it down. Relax. 
So every forward bending, we have a complementary posture, backward bending. Come back to the position, we will do Ardha Chakrasana, which is a backward bending. Slowly inhale, take your hands to and support your lower back with all the fingers pointed forward. Now slowly exhale and bend backwards and stay in this position, normal breath. Slowly inhale, come up and exhale, bring your hands down. Relax in Shitila Tadasana. Relax for two to three breaths. Take a deep inhalation and a slow exhalation. Relax. Next we will move on to Trikonasana, the triangle posture. Come to the left side of the mat. Slowly take your right leg a meter apart, hands at the shoulder level. This is a sideways bending, so please avoid forward bending. Now slowly exhale and bend to the right side, right side. Sideways bending. Now your left palm will be facing forward. Keep gazing at your fingertips. Stay here with normal breath. Normal breathing. Now slowly inhale, come up, and then exhale, bring your right foot back to your left foot. Complementary side, once again, come to the right side of your mat. We'll do the left side. Take your left leg a meter apart, hands at the shoulder level. Now slowly exhale and bend to the left side. Now your right palm facing forward. Keep gazing at your fingertips. Normal breath. Slowly inhale, come up, then exhale, bring your left foot back to your right foot. Relax. Relax in Shitila Tadasana. Feet apart, hands loose, relax. Take a deep inhalation and a slow exhalation. Relax. Next, we'll move on to sitting asanas. We will sit down in Dandasana Stiti position. So, this is the starting position. Keep your Feet together, toes pointing up, hands by the side. Keep your back straight. We will first practice Shashankasana, the rabbit pose. Slowly fold your right leg and sit on your right heel. Then fold your left leg, sit on the left heel. Make sure the heels are together, knees are together. Now hold your right wrist with your left hand. Now, exhale and slowly start bending forward. Without raising your back, try to place your forehead down. Now, stay here with normal breath, normal breathing. Now, slowly inhale, raise the head up and then slowly start coming up. Then gently release your hands. We will do the complementary position for this. Now come up on your knees. We will practice Ushtrasana, the complementary posture. Now slowly slide your palms to support your back and then bend backwards, putting your head, neck. Those who are comfortable can put your right hand to the right foot, left hand to the left foot. And stay here. Normal breath. Now slowly inhale, come up and exhale, sit down on your heels and gently release your left leg and the right leg. Relax in Shitila Dandasana. Feet apart, recline your back and relax. Take a deep breath and relax. <clears throat> Next, we will practice Badrasana or the butterfly pose. Okay. Now, fold your right leg and then fold your left leg. Lock your toes. Put your right hand underneath, then the left hand. 
Lock your toes. Keep your back straight. Back straight. Try to take the knees down as much as you can. And feel the stretch in the inner thighs. Stay here with normal breath. Normal breathing. Now slowly unfold the left leg and then unfold the right leg. Relax. Next we will practice Uttana Mandukasana. Now slowly fold the right leg and then the left leg with your hand support. Widen your knees. Widen your knees. Now stretch your hands up. Take your right hand to the left shoulder. Left hand to the right shoulder. Now keep gazing in the front with normal breath. Feel the stretch in the shoulders. Stay here with normal breath. Now slowly release your left hand, then your right hand. Bring it down. With the hand support, bring back both the knees together. Gently unfold the left leg and then the right leg. Relax. Relax in Shitila Dandasana. Now the last sitting asana we would practice is Vakrasana or the twisting position in the sitting posture. Back to position, keep your feet together, back straight. Keep your shoulders relaxed. First we will do the right side. Fold your right leg at the knee and keep it next to the left knee. Now, take your right hand to the other direction. Give a twist to your spine. Take your left hand outward and try to reach the ankle or the toes. And look back to the right shoulder. Stay here with normal breath. Normal breathing. Now slowly release the left hand and change the right hand direction. Unfold your right leg. So now let's do the complementary side, left leg. Now slowly fold the left leg at the knee. Keep it next to your right knee. Then turn your left hand the other direction. Take your right hand outward to the knee and try to reach the ankle or the toe. Give a twist to the spine. Look back through the left shoulder. Feel the twist in the spine, the compression in the stomach. Stay here with normal breath. Now slowly un release your right hand, then the left hand, and unfold your left leg. Relax. Relax. Next, we will move on to the third set of asanas, the prone position. Prone position is nothing but lying down facing the mat. So, request all of you to lie down facing the mat. First, we will start with Bhujangasana or the Cobra posture. So, lie down facing the mat. Keep the feet together, hands above the head. Make sure only the chin is down, not the entire face. Stay here. First asana is Bhujangasana. Slowly bring both the hands by the side of the last ribs, elbows inward. Now slowly inhale, raise the head, neck and chest up. Stay here with normal breath. Normal breathing. Now slowly exhale, bring the chin down. And then release your hands and relax in Makarasana. Keep your feet wide apart. Take your right hand to the left shoulder, left hand to the right shoulder, and rest your chin at the center and relax. Now we'll come back to the stiti position. We will do the complementary posture, raising the lower part of the body. Back to stiti, hands above the head, feet together. Now slowly take both the hands inward to the root of the thighs. The root of the thighs inward. Now slowly inhale and raise both the legs without bending the knees upward. Without bending the knees. Stay here. 
normal breath. Now slowly exhale, bring the feet down and then gently release both the hands and relax in Makarasana. Bring the right hand to the left shoulder, left hand to the right shoulder. Rest your chin at the center. Relax in Makarasana. Relax. Now come back to the starting position. Next we will practice Dhanurasana or the bow posture. Bring your feet together, hands above the head. Now slowly bend both your legs. Try to hold your right ankle with the right hand, ankle with the left hand. Make sure that to keep the knees together. Now slowly raise the head. Stop. And stay here with normal breath. Normal breathing. Now slowly bring the chin down and then gently release both the legs and relax it. Makarasana. Relax. Take a deep inhalation and a slow exhalation. Relax. Relax your left leg and the right leg completely. Slowly we will come back to the starting position and then we will flip over to the other side and move on to supinasanas. <clears throat> supinasanas. Lie down facing the roof, facing the sky. Now we will come to the starting position, keeping your feet together, hands above the head. We will practice two asanas here. The first one is Setu Bandhasana, the bridge pose and then the complementary pose, the Pavana Muktasana. Now slowly inhale, raise both the legs to 45 degree, 90 degree, bend at your knee, hold them tight we'll do, and then gently raise your head up. Try to take the chin closer to the knees, stay here with normal breath, normal breathing. Now slowly bring the head down, then gently release your legs to 90 degrees, 45 and gradually down, relax. Now we will do the complementary posture, Setu Bandhasana or the bridge pose. Now fold your right leg at the knee and then the left leg at the knee. Make sure to keep your heels closer to your body. Keep the knees together, heels together. Now slowly inhale, raise the lower back up. The bridge pose, raise the lower back up. Stay here with normal breath. Normal breathing. Normal breath. Now slowly exhale and bring the lower back down and then gently release the legs and the hands. Relax. So we did Pavana Muktasana followed by Setu Bandhasana. Next we will practice Uttana Padasana. This is nothing but keeping the hands above the head and raising your legs just to 45 degrees without bending the knees. Now keep your feet together, hands above the head. Slowly inhale, raise both the legs to 45 degrees to 45 degree angle without bending the knees. 45 degree angle. Stay here with normal breathing. Normal breath. Avoid bending your knees. Now slowly exhale and bring your feet down. And then release your hands. Relax. 
relax. The next asana, the last asana that we are going to do is called Ardha Halasana, the half of Halasana posture. Bring back the feet together, hands above the head. Now slowly inhale, raise the legs to 45 degree, 90 degree. Now bring your hands down. Stay here without bending the knees. Normal breath. Now slowly exhale, bring the feet to 45 degree and then gradually to the ground. Release your hands and relax. Relax. We will move on to Shavasana, which is a deep relaxation technique. Now keep your feet together, feet apart, hands apart, palms facing up. Now close your eyes. Now without moving your body parts, try to consciously relax your body part by part without moving your body parts. Consciously relax both your feet, your ankle joints, your knee joints, your hip joints. Relax the entire lower part of your body. Relax. Relax. Feel the relaxation flow throughout the left leg and the right leg. Feel the entire lower part of the body drop to the mat and consciously relax the lower part of the body. Relax. Now shift your awareness to the middle part of the body. Relax your back, your entire back from the top of your spine to the tip of your spine. Visualize and consciously relax your body, your lumbar region, your dorsal vertebrae and your cervical vertebrae. Relax the entire back. Now bring your awareness to the stomach region. Feel the breath. Feel that inhalation and that exhalation. Feel the movements in the stomach. Now relax your thoracic region, your shoulders. Relax the back and the front of your shoulders. Relax your biceps, your elbows, your hands and all your five fingers in your left hand and the right hand. Relax completely. Relax, relax. Now shift your awareness to the head region. Relax your chin, your cheeks, your mouth, your nose, your eyes, your forehead. Give a beautiful smile and relax your facial region. Kick out all the thoughts coming to your mind and feel the vast expansiveness in the facial region and enjoy the relaxation. Relax. Now your whole body from the head to the toes is relaxed. Your body feels very light and relaxed. Now slowly, without any jerky movements, gently bring the feet together. Slide your right hand above the head, your left hand on your stomach. Bend your left leg at the knee. Now gently turn to the right. Put your left hand down for support. Now slowly come up to a sitting position. Without any jerky movements, slowly come to a sitting position and slowly open your eyes. Blink your eyes and open your eyes. 
Okay, so I hope all of you feel relaxed after a Shavasana. Yoga is both stimulation and relaxation. So it is not a rigorous practice. Okay. Next we will move on to the next thing in the protocol, the pranayama practice. Okay. So if possible, all of you sit in Vajrasana or Padmasana. Vajrasana where you fold both the knees and sit on your heels or Padmasana, folding the right leg and then the left leg. All these postures will help to keep your back straight. So first we will practice Kapalabhati which is one inhalation and continuous exhalation of the stomach. Okay. So hands in chin mudra I will demonstrate first and then you can follow. Take one deep inhalation and start rapid exhalation from the stomach. Okay. So this is basically a cleansing practice and not the actual pranayama. This is a cleansing practice which we practice before pranayama. So keep your hands in chin mudra. Put your thumb and your index finger and keep it facing the thighs. Facing the thighs. That's right. Now take one deep inhalation and start rapid exhalation and do to your capacity. 30 strokes. Let's start. Inhale and start. One more round. Take one deep inhalation and continuous exhalation. Inhale and start. Relax. Continue to keep the eyes closed. And try to observe that automatic cessation of your breath. Enjoy this moment of bliss. Relax. Next we will move on to Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama, the alternate nostril pranayama. This can be practiced by everyone. There are no limitations of practicing Nadi Shuddhi. But remember this is a very slow method of practicing. So take an inhalation through the left nostril first. First keep your hands in chin mudra, left hand chin mudra, right hand will be nasika mudra. Fold your index finger and your middle finger okay? and keep it facing you. This nasika mudra will be only in your right hand. Remember not to lift your elbows, your shoulders will be relaxed. So first we will close the right nostril with the thumb. Take a deep inhalation through the left nostril. And now close the left nostril with the ring finger and exhale completely through the right nostril. Now again inhale through the same right nostril and close your right nostril and exhale through the left. This is one round of Nadi Shuddhi. Now try to keep your exhalation longer than your inhalation. We will do 5 rounds. Inhale through the left. And exhale slowly through the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. Keep your exhalation longer. Inhale through the left. Exhale slowly through the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale slowly through the left. 
full concentration on your breath. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. One more round. Inhale, left. Exhale, completely through the right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Once you're completed, continue to keep your eyes closed. Release your hands. Continue to keep your eyes closed. And try to observe the calmness after practicing Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama. Try to observe the calmness, the balance in your breath. Next, we will move on to the cooling pranayama technique called Sheetali pranayama. It is basically a cooling pranayama technique. In case if you have a severe cold, please avoid the practice. Now, fold the tongue like a straw and inhale through the mouth and exhale through the nose. This is very good for relieving anxiety and stress and also reduces acidity in the body. Okay. So, now roll the tongue like a straw, like a beak of a bird. Inhale through the mouth. Now close your mouth and exhale through the nose. We'll do five times. Inhale through the mouth. Exhale through the nose. Inhale through the mouth. Exhale through the nose. Inhale through the mouth. Exhale through the nose. One more round. Inhale. And exhale through the nose. Continue to keep your eyes closed after the practice. Observe the cooling sensation in your mouth. Feel the chillness in your mouth. It's a very good pranayama to be practiced in the summer season. Relax. Now the last pranayama technique, Brahmari. Brahmari is nothing but the bee buzzing sound. So we will inhale through the nose and chant a Nakara, okay, which helps to bring a bee buzzing sound. Now hands in Shanmukhi Mudra, basically at your ears. Do not press it too tight. Keep it gently, your thumb on the ears. Then your eyelashes, your nostril, upper lip and the lower lip. Make sure you don't press it too hard. Your nose is partially closed. Now inhale through the nostril and chant an Nakara. Mm. completely. We will do two more times. Inhale and chant an akara. Mm. Exhale completely. One last round. Inhale. Mm. Slowly release your 
your hands and continue to keep the eyes closed. Remember after every pranayama practice to keep your eyes closed and try to observe the changes after the practice. Feel the relaxation in the head. Now stay here. And try to observe the bliss, the calmness after practicing Brahmari Pranayama. We will move on to Dhyana from here, meditation. Continue to keep your eyes closed for a few minutes and enjoy the state of being, your breath being very normalized, your body is calm, your breath is very calm. Now try to enjoy the state of bliss. Keeping your full awareness on your breath. Do not let your mind wander. Keeping your full awareness on your breath. Avoiding all the distractions around. Your full awareness on the breath. Enjoy this moment of bliss. Now, on this International Day of Yoga, let us take a sankalpa. The sankalpa being to keep this calm state of mind in every action that we do throughout the day, from the morning to the night, in every task that we undertake, in our studies, in our work, in our life, everything, rem try to Keep this calm state of being to increase our productivity at work and to get a balance of everything. Let us take a sankalpa to practice yoga every day. Now with this, we will conclude. Hands in Namaskara Mudra. We will pray for the wellness of everyone. With Sarve Bhavantu, lead and follow. Hands in Namaskara Mudra. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha. Sarve Santu Niramaya. Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu. Ma kasche dukha bhag bhavet Om shanti 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 hi Now tie your hands behind your back. Exhale and bend forward. Pay your salutations to Mother Earth. Now slowly inhale and come up. Rub your palms, generate some heat. Make a cup of your palms and keep it in front of your eyelids without pressing your eyelids. Gently give a massage around your eyes and slowly bring your hands down and slowly blink your eyes and open your eyes. Thank you and Namaste. With this we conclude our yoga practice. I now hand over to sir. We can conclude with this.